Black Cat seems okay. Maybe a little bit of an attitude, though. Peter, I guess you're running late. Or else you thought we were meeting at the movies. Anyway, the movie's starting soon, and I don't want to be late, so I headed over there. Meet me there, if you aren't already there. Ugh. I knew I was running later than I thought. I need to hurry. The movie's starting soon. Get a job! Better change while no one is around. I'm so happy you made it. Hey, MJ. Hey, Betty. Is Mr. Jameson around? Pete, he just went in his office and he was fuming that you weren't here. Better go see him. He was looking for me? Huh. Hi, Mr. Jameson. I was... What are you doing here? Get down to the sports arena, now! Huh? Quentin Beck has publicly challenged Spider-Man to go and prove he's for real. He's broadcasting on TV right now. I want pictures. At the sports arena. Okay. So Quentin Beck's gonna prove I'm a fake, huh? This, I gotta see. Hollywood effects expert and Spider-Man critic Quentin Beck has issued a public challenge to the web-slinger. Bob, what do you think? Well, Steve, it's a bold move, no doubt about it. Personally, my money's on Spider-Man. All right, we'll have to see how it plays out. Here comes Quentin Beck now. And now, your MC and host for this evening. You know his legendary work from such films as Cyborg Babysitter and Tears of an Alien Bounty Hunter. A man who has worked tirelessly for the entertainment of all mankind. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce that master of film magic and illusion, that expert of the unknown, the one, the only, Quentin Beck! Thank you for coming, Spider-Man. I knew you couldn't resist. I don't like people building a career off bad-mouthing me, Beck. What about that newspaper man, Jameson? JJ? He just has a knack for hiring good photographers. Well, Spider-Man, now that you're here, let's get right to it. Your first challenge will be something you're supposedly quite good at. Rounding up criminals. That's it. All right, whatever. Oh, there's more to it than that. After you collect each criminal, deposit him in one of the three holding pits here. And by the way, you'll only get a point if you use the pit with the green light. I'll be competing against you, and there will be three waves of criminals. 
If I, with no so-called superpowers, collect more criminals than you in the allotted time, then the world will be able to see clearly what a sham you are. I don't know what happened to make you so delusional, Beck, but bring it on! Well, it looks like they're getting ready to start. According to the press release, the city's Department of Corrections provided the criminals Beck and Spidey will be collecting. Right, Steve. And virtually every one of these convicted criminals is someone Spider-Man helped capture, including one celebrity criminal, Herman Schulz, a.k.a. the Shocker. Well, it should be interesting to see how that affects the results. Oh, it looks like they're starting. Ready, Spider-Man? Let's begin. I didn't sign up for this! I did these curtains go or I did... Do you like my gadgets, Spider-Man? I perfected the technology on the movie Sorority Death Robot. I don't know about your effects, but your education must have been special. Why, Beck? I trusted you! Spider-Man has taken an early lead. Clearly, this is one hero who knows what it takes to control a situation. You're right, Steve, but Beck still has plenty of time. As a wise man once said, it ain't over till it's over. Me freak. It's the last batch of inmates, and Spidey has been showing everyone how it's done. Beck is going to have to do some fancy flying if he's going to make a comeback now. I'll get you for this, Beck. Ooh. Are you still going, Beck? Uh, I hadn't noticed. What is your problem? I'm after this trick on the set of Ninjas of Madness 4, Flaming Ninja. The cool kid beat you up in school. You're really taking it out on the wrong guy. One of these days, Webhead, I'm gonna get you. That's all of them. How about it, Beck? You're very clever, Spider-Man. You obviously have more tricks up your sleeve than I expected. Still. This last challenge will prove who is the better man once and for all. Is that what this is really about, Beck? Proving that you're better than I am? I don't have to answer that. You're the one being tested here, not me. Whoa. Sounds like I hit a nerve. This is our last challenge, ladies and gentlemen. You've seen how cleverly Spider-Man can maintain his illusion of heroism. But now, 
all his supposed skills and abilities will be put to the ultimate test in a one-on-one -on -one challenge against me. Here are the rules, Spider-Man. I have built an obstacle course. You will start here. All you have to do is reach the end of the course, hitting these switches along the way. I, meanwhile, will be manning an electric cannon. If I see you, you can be sure I'm gonna hit you with the cannon. Don't worry, the cannon is non-lethal. But once I hit you three times, the contest is over and I win. That cannon doesn't sound too great, but if I back out now, I'll never live it down. Let's get this over with. Well, I don't know about you, Bob, but from where I sit, things don't seem to be going so well for Quentin Beck. I agree, Steve. He's going to have to do some pretty fancy shooting here if he wants anyone to take his claim seriously. All right, now that you're in position, let's begin. Why don't you just give up, Spider-Man? And disappoint all my loyal fans. as a playground designer, Beck. And you missed yours as a rejected has-been. But that will be corrected soon enough. Psychologists call that projection, Beck. I'm such a good sport, Beck. No intelligent person would put up with these tests. Did you hear that, folks? Spider-Man admits that he's stupid. You heard him. Oh, please. Starters. 